It's a beautiful day to go on a magical adventure with Mommy Moola. We're gonna have fun every day, make new friends and explore the world with Mommy Moola. So let's learn together and make the world better. About colors and science with Mommy Moola. Mommy Moola's magic island. Learn about the world around you. Let's have an adventure with Mommy Moola. Today's show How Are Beaches Made? <sighs> I'm so hot. This fan. Feels like it's blowing hot air. I sound like a robot. <laughs> robot Nula to the rescue! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> I'm Mommy Mula. Welcome to our magical island. Today, it is super hot. <laughs> I feel like I'm just burning up. Now, if only I could go somewhere with lots of breeze and cool water. Oh, did you know that the word breeze begins with the letter B? Hmm, I wonder what other words that begin with the letter B that we'll see today. Hmm, where could I go? Oh, <laughs> I know, I could go to the beach. The beach is a great place to cool off. There's lots of cool things on the beach, like sand, waves, and cool breeze. <laughs> There's a beach not far from my house. I'm going to need a few things before we go. Let's see. Oh, huh. I can use this towel to sit on. Oh, and a hat. Yeah, this will cover up my head from the sun to prevent sunburn. Right. Now that I have everything, let's head outside to enjoy the beach. Come on, let's go. Ah, this is more like it. <laughs> the beach is full of amazing things like seashells, the ocean waves, and all this lovely sand. Hmm. I wonder how the sand and waves, how do they get here? Have you ever wondered how a beach is formed? Do you know who I should ask? <laughs> I know. Let's ask our friend Patty. He knows lots of things. Now, hmm, where did I put him? Oh, Patty, where are you? Oh, huh, there he is. Hi, Patty. <laughs> Hello there. You always seem to appear like magic <laughs> when we need you. Now, we have a question for you. We are wondering how beaches are made. Can you tell us? Sand. The color of the sand depends on the 
depends on the minerals in each grain. Volcanic sand looks black, and quartz sand looks white. If you look closely at a handful of beach gravel or sand, you might find some pieces of shells. Some beaches are mostly made up of ground down shells of animals from the sea, and broken bits of coral with very few rock fragments. These kinds of beaches are often found where the water is warm. Things such as broken bottles and other bits of glass can eventually be worn down by waves and sand. Some people like to collect beach glass. But I prefer people place their bottles in the recycling bins to keep our beaches safe and clean. Thanks, Patty. Now we know how beaches are formed. You know? <laughs> This reminds me of a funny joke. Would you like to hear it? All right, here I go. What is the best thing to eat on the beach? Give up? <laughs> a sandwich. <laughs> oh, <I'm> so funny. <laughs> oh man. I really hope you like that. <laughs> Now that we've learned how beaches are made, let's do a beach project. You will need a paper plate, blue and white paint or crayons, cornflakes, a Ziploc bag, glue, scissors, shells, napkin or paintbrush, four straws, a toothpick, a red circle, a brown rectangle, and a green smaller square. First, you will need to paint a color, a squiggly blue line across the middle of the paper plate. Then, you will need to color half of the plate with blue paint or blue crayons. Next, put some cornflakes in a Ziploc bag and smush them up really fine until it looks like sand. Smush them up nice and fine. Keep going. I'm gonna get them really small and tiny. <laughs> so crinkly. <laughs> Once complete, cover the white half of your plate with glue. After that, sprinkle your cornflakes onto the glue. Next, glue four straws together. Cut below the bend to create a lawn chair.
use some glue to stick your lawn chair to the sand. Now, with your red circle, you kind of cut a line in the middle and use a toothpick here to kind of mark the middle of it. Cut a line from the end to the middle. Then, use some glue. This will make it easy to fold it into an umbrella. See? All right. Cut one end of your toothpick. Use some glue. glue your umbrella to the sand. Take your brown rectangle and glue one end. Then roll it into a cylinder. Draw lines on it so it looks like a real palm tree. Take the smaller green square and cut slits from the end to the middle. Put glue on the part that isn't cut. Stick the green part into the brown cylinder, leaving the slits out. Now glue your palm tree to the sand. You can add some shells or other decorative items. Finally, use the white paint or crayon to color parts of the blue to make waves. There you have it our finished beach project. Hey, did you hear any other word that began with the letter B? Of course you did. The word was beach. Let's spell it together. B E A C H. Beach. You're so smart. Mm-hmm. Thanks for joining me on our adventure today. We found out how beaches are made.
and we even made a cool beach project. Hey, don't forget to join me on our next adventure. I can't wait to see my friends next time. Woohoo! Be sure to come back soon to my magical island. Have a moolerific day! Hi, friends. I would love to see what you've done. Send them to my email address so I can show them on a future show, okay? Sail to a pirate island. Read about dinosaurs. I'll upgrade out their spots. So join Mommy Moolah. Cause learning can be fun. Mommy. Hey, would you like to be my friend? Click the like and the subscribe button. This will tell you when something new is posted. That way, we can stay in touch. Moolah-rific.